If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. I have this uh, set on my mug, actually that I constantly send those conquest pieces to, even though I probably will never play it. And that's not because I'm not a big fan of monks. It's just, you gotta limit it what you do. Because the reality is, if you play every class in the game, or even nine or 10 of the classes in the game, you're, you're not even gonna have time to eat food or take a shower. So yeah, these are not all friendly X-Packs, even though Blizzard advertises it as so, they're not. So what about this set? Well, it's mostly the Arden Wheel campaign and Legion PVP but the legion pvp stuff would be alliance only so that would be the belt as well as i do believe the headpiece and the shoulders the boots are bfa pvp but that's alliance only so why show it on horde teams well it gives people ideas might inspire them to play alliance i'm probably sure there's like one or two people like oh i gotta go play alliance <laughs> so yeah we're not getting a massive exodus from the horde just for this xmog set but the fact of the matter is, keep in mind, this is pretty much Alliance only. The feet, Sinister, BFA level. Uh, did I say Engineering? I, I, I don't know. That, that, that would be BFA PVP. If I said Engineering or something, that would be wrong. Uh, the headpiece, Wild Gladiators, Iron Skin, Helm. Uh, that would be the Wad PVP vendor. And finally, we get to the weapon, which is the Shaft of Glacial Ice, Ice Crown Citadel. You can mod this on any given class that wears leather. Uh, it might not work for some, uh, but I think it does work for a monk, does work for a druid, even a demon hunter. Very purple, yes, purple and blue goes really well together. So this is mostly from the Night Fae campaign with a splash of kata on the shoulders and the boots, and of course the headpiece, which has got that purple, perfical, it's not a word, perfical. It should be a word but it's not a word. I don't know what it would mean. What would the word perfectal mean? I, maybe perfect purple. Maybe that's what it would mean. Anyway, that headpiece, I think, is just an enormous find for this set because it's got the purple, it's got that splash of gray and the blue, and it goes so well with this overall set. So the shoulders are from Kata, from Firelands Heroic, and the boots are also from Kata, which is a PvP uh, piece. As you can see, the cloak here, is from uh, Sanctum of Domination Heroic, the feat we already talked about, Cata PvP Vendor, Marks of Honor for that. The back, Cloak of Scarred Honor, is what it's specifically called, we already touched on where we get that from. Now, I made a mistake on the bracers, I said it was from Sanctum of Domination, it's not, it's from the Night Fae campaign, as is the belt, the legs, and the chest piece. And finally, we get to the weapon, Wild Gladiator's Mage Blade. If you're Horde, it would be warmongering. I'm 100% sure what I'm about to say is 100% irrelevant, but I just can't get Davy, Davy, I was gonna say, David Bowie out of my head. Any David Bowie fans out there? I've been, every time I go to listen, to songs on Spotify, on my phone, whether I'm going for a walk, coming up with ideas in the car, I've been listening to David Bowie over and over and over again. Now, David Bowie, of course, is the father of Duncan Jones, who directed the World of Warcraft movie. His original name, actually, is Davy Jones. And when he hit the music scene, he didn't want to be confused with Davy Jones of the Monkees, so he changed his name to David Bowie. I'm all of a sudden a huge, I've always liked David Bowie, but now it's like every time I listen to something, I'm listening, I know, it's completely irrelevant. I don't know why I'm talking about David Bowie in an x -Mog video. I just can't get the song changes out of my head. Some of this set got a little bit messed up because of the chroma key. Uh, I, I know this is something that comes up a lot, but it's gonna affect a lot of colors, particularly blue, green, and purple. Uh, so I think this looks pretty epic here on a troll. That would be a horde troll, of course. Uh, the headpiece is Castle Nathria LFR. And now we're gonna get to the weapon, which is Black Rock Foundry Heroic Chromog is the boss fang of the earth. This is Alliance only. Uh, you're looking at a couple of pieces, the chest, the legs, and the boots are BFA PVP, and the shoulders and the gloves and the headpiece are from 
Legion PvP. So just heads up on that. Why it's showing on a Horde tune? I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just did a Shaman video a few minutes ago and there was Alliance pieces that just did not show up on Horde. There's no method to the madness, so just bear with me. I do show um, the Alliance pieces on Horde characters to give people ideas. Uh, at first I thought, no, no one's taking any ideas, but they are. A lot of you guys out there are looking for ideas, not specific sets. When you look at these sets and then you, something snaps in your head and you say, wow, yeah, okay, I like that, but I want to change the belt, I want to change the head, I want to change the weapon. And keep in mind, you can always change the weapons. I can only show the default artifact weapons on this format using Mogget. I tried to use the Wowhead model viewer, but Wowhead immediately, snap of the finger, gave me a copyright infringement. I don't want to deal with that. So I kind of changed the format and stayed with the format, but I'm using Mogget still. Yeah. Yes, a Venthyr monk. There's about three of them in the game, and for good reason. But first, the shoulders, Ulduar. Uh, treacherous shoulder pads. That's a recolor from Wrath of the Lich King from a rogue tier. Now the chest, the legs, the belt, and the cloak are all from Corthia, all part of the Venthyr campaign. So you can have to trench your way through Corthia in order to get those pieces. Now maybe you do it on a druid, maybe you do it on a rogue, whatever, but obviously a Venthyr monk doesn't excite a lot of people. But if you have the extra time and you have the ambition to pick up this set, which incidentally goes with every class that wears leather, you could put this on a demon hunter, you could put this on a rogue, and obviously you could put it on a monk. You can put it on a druid if you want, but does that really look like a druid to you? <laughs> no, it doesn't. So, uh, yeah, druids, maybe not. But the other three classes that wear leather, absolutely. I think this is a very, very unique and excellent looking set. Uh, the feet are from Warlords of Drain All the Fun, as are those gloves. They are from Warlords as well. Those are gloves. Those are not bracers. Those are bra uh, gloves from Wad. Now we're gonna get to the headpiece, which is the piece from Legion. That's super easy to get. That's crafted from Legion level leatherworking. You can buy that on the auction house, by the way. And the weapon is Uldir LFR Mithrax is the boss who drops the sword. Black and purple, highly underrated look here. And this looks pretty amazing, this number six set. Meditation Spears of Kaiji and Taurus LFR. Very, very much a rogue tier from Legion. The chest, Forsworn, Aspirants, Vestments, Corthia, Kyrian Campaign, Rep and Renown in order to get that chest piece. Looking pretty cool on a human dude here. Uh, Grievous Gladiator's Waistband of Accuracy. If you're on the Horde side, it's going to be prideful. But I always like that belt. And that belt, for some reason, can't be mogged by Demon Hunters. I don't know why. Anyway, Forswarm, Aspirants, Leggings, Corthia, Kyrian Campaign, Rep and Renown. Part of the same set from the Kyrian Campaign as the chest. Looking rather epic on a Lady Night Elf here from a raid in BC, Van Bracers of Ending. That's a rogue recolor there on those bracers. The feet, also a rogue recolor. Netherstorm, BC PvP vendor, Marks of Honor, Veterans Leather Foot Guards on the boots. Now we're going to move on to a regular troll, uh, Shroud of the Pentatent. That would be Bastion. Valinar drops it. We all know Valinar. He's that all-powerful robot that kicks everybody's butt. Uh, Paramount Orthogonal Optics on the headpiece. That's engineering. And the weapon. Excellent. Excellent pickup on the weapon. Arcanai Crips on the axe. My name is Luxley. I want to thank you for stopping by. And I'm going to leave you with this final thought, whatever it is by you, whether it is morning like it is here, night or the afternoon, make your day epic. Thank you for tuning in.